Right, this is the original farm square here where I'm standing, and uh, round about me are the original farm buildings. Most of them were adapted by the Forestry Commission for forest use, but the uh, main adaption was the bothy. The granary was the dormitory. The downstairs was converted into a dining hall, kitchen and the drying room. And the building at the back, which you don't see, was uh, the washing house and such like the toilets. Uh, this was not a good farm as farms went in the Black Isle. It was very, very hard earned living here, I can assure you. Yeah the very top of the Black Isle. It was more suited to the purposes the forestry used it for. And as much as they produced millions and millions of seedlings. Uh, then the RAF moved in in the early 1940s and it was uh, an RAF camp used as a storage base for surplus uh, Overspill planes from Ken Loss and Lossy was here field. That became the main workshop, the main mechanical engineering workshop for the North of Scotland Forestry Commission. And that's where I came in 1952 and uh, spent some very happy years here, but some very cold ones. This was a five star bot here, and uh, I, uh, d <laughs> I would argue strongly it was. Unbeatable. Uh, we had a brilliant cook, a female, and not only was she a brilliant cook, she was a good looking brilliant cook. Inevitably, she married one of the lorry drivers and had family and had to give up the job. And uh, we had to put up with a severe change in our lifestyle, our, uh, uh, food wise. So, as a body, we had electric light, we had a generator and an engine. Many of the night we had to queue up to swing the engine to get it started. But uh, it was quite a luxury in 1952, I can assure you. Well, the murals were done by the two brothers known, eh, Percy and Frank. Eh, Percy was an unofficial but recognised war artist. Uh, and both the brothers served with the 14th Army out in Burma. Uh, they were there for four years, and uh, the only bricks they had were at the Leaf Centre in India. And, uh, they were very talented, I would say gifted artists. They're not onto the, a brick wall, they're onto a cluster bone. Uh, we accepted them as normal, but uh, looking back, I think they were a, an amazing achievement. Well, we're going to have a look. This was a well, dividing wall here for me. transferred and I think it was the spring of the summer of 1954 up to Connick uh, quite a well fitted out the uh, Bothy and Connick uh, with the exception of myself and any of the mechanical engineering employees uh, Quite washed over the top of most of the murals. That's Adam 
This is an ancient one. Is this a Robin Hood theme? Or Three Musketeers or something? Or is the Musketeers? Good living people. Good living, I would say. Uh -huh. <laughs> there wasn't much chance of going this thing. It's a starlet. And there's a face. A man with a, a young lady. Every so often there was a check, people would have termed a paycheck, and on the other side of the desk or the table would be the head forester and the district officer. And on this particular occasion it was a young district officer. Isidore was, you had to count your wages, open your paper and count wages in front of them. And Isidore was, uh, of course, the young district officer rose to the bait. Is there anything wrong with your pay? And Isidore's remark is one that I'll never forget as long as I live. No, no, he said, just the usual foresty pay. Not enough to live on and just too much to die on. And the district officer never even smiled.